Hi, Arik Mundi here, and uh, a couple tips uh, for those of you who might uh, find yourself in the same situation uh, with an axle spin-out. I have a Mac uh, 10T motor on a Trek Shift 3. Uh, I am Arc Mundi at Endless Sphere, and uh, here's what I did in order to repair this guy here and this spin-out. I'm at that point in time where I'm getting uh, back to the point where I'm roadworthy. What happened, uh, I believe, uh, was a failure in the torque arm. And I'll say a few more words about that. What happens is, with an axle spin-out, is the axle here is spinning. And uh, if you uh, get an axle spin out, the wires will wrap around this and the wire insulation will abrade and wham bam, uh, you don't have a working e-bike anymore. Uh, my feeble attempt um, at do using the duct uh, uh, tape approach of repairing the wires uh, didn't quite work. I am going to try uh, a second time to, to repair it. I asked Paul over at EM3EV uh, for uh, a new axle with the wire uh, pre-loaded in, into uh, the axle core. And so I'll, uh, I'll try again uh, to repair this motor and may have success. But in the meantime, I went ahead and bought myself a second motor and a uh, full kit uh, with components uh, in order to get back on the road. I figured uh, that the redundancy was probably worth it. So back here, what I believe happened was this cheap little component here, uh, which is used to strap the Grin uh, torque, universal torque arm onto the bike. If there's enough torque uh, that uh, gets applied to this, this thing can uh, stretch out and loosen in such a way that uh, the torque arm will pull off of the axle and you end up with my situation. After taking a close look and studying uh, the damage after the fact, in fact, uh, these guys were uh, loose. So, you know, uh, a cheap $1 component you know, on this bike uh, didn't uh, quite work for me. I in originally had uh, attempted uh, to uh, install my torque arm in, in the diagram here on a, a vertical dropout. Uh, but note that this isn't really quite vertical. I never could get this arm to apply against uh, the frame in such a way uh, that it would actually uh, provide me uh, the torque distribution to the frame uh, that, that's required. So what I ended up doing um, is uh, because uh, the damage had caused the dropouts, note here that The, my, I lost uh, the dropouts. These got torn off uh, the frame altogether. So I figured that since uh, that happened, I might as well take advantage of the situation. And I cut myself uh, new slight dropouts. Notice that the, the axle is now not quite vertical not quite horizontal uh, but it, it allows for the torque uh, arm to be fastened to the frame in such a way uh, that I am actually going to get uh, the torque applied uh, applied correctly and I added in the process one of these guys it's a U-bolt, and so, so now, in addition to strapping 
I have this, which is actually probably taking the greater part of the force and it's a bolt it's not going anywhere it's very 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 solidly now mounted to the frame and uh, so uh, in order to affect that particular repair and he, here's one of the tips I'm using one of these guys here it's kind of a beefed up Dremel tool uh, it's pneumatic and I'm using uh, these Forney uh, metal uh, cutting discs you can uh, you can see that these guys uh, are great little cutter metal cutters, and uh, you can uh, uh, cut uh, any particular shape uh, that you want. So I was able to get the the shape that I wanted uh, in the dropout, and uh, that uh, has uh, I think uh, been. Um, a benefit in disguise. I don't want uh, to repeat this particular experience. Failure of one little one dollar component and I may have motor damage, I may have controller damage, I definitely had derailer damage and the aluminum dropouts. And so, um, in order to repair this, get a new motor kit from EM3 EV, um, I'm back up into the $600 in order to repair this. So, getting, getting the torque distributed to the frame is a very important thing, and you don't want to uh, do that wrong. Um, Again, uh, I was not able to install uh, the Grin uh, torque arm with either of these diagrams. And uh, so the torque was not, I think, being distributed uh, to uh, the frame in the correct way. And instead, this little clamp was taking the torque, stretched it out, loosened it, Flip the the axle restraint off and ended up with a spin out that led to wire damage and destruction. So for what it's worth, for you guys uh, out there that may end up in the same situation, uh, good luck with your repair. Check you out on the forum. Bye.